another face in the crowd in this bellwether town. Maggie, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you're here helping Ed? Great. I'm here helping Ed because I love the work that Ed does for our community. He fills a lot of missing gaps within our corrupt systems and uh, it was people like Ed that helped me out when I was going through the toughest times um, and where I found a lot of support. So I want to come down here and help give back to people that are, you know, having a rough time because I've been there myself. And you were invited to be, to uh, take part in the uh, symposium on homelessness. And could you t give us a little bit of background on how that all worked out? Yeah. So um, I'm a I'm a peer with the Poverty Task Force, and I I help run a group, Community Voices, which amplifies the lived experience voices in our community. So I was invited through them to speak at the Housing and Homelessness Symposium. Um, I I shared my lived experience there. Um, the, the main priority of my talk was to, you know, show that there's not a one-size-fits-all solution um, and, you know, living in shelters is not an ideal circumstance for a lot of people. So that was, you know, the, the main objective of my talk and also for politicians to stop making excuses and to take some action with uh, what's going on in our city today. And uh, from what I understand, you recorded some of your presentation and it's available online. Can you give direction on how they could check it out? Yeah, so uh, Ed has it posted on his Facebook page. Um, so anyone that follows Ed can go check it out on, their pay on his page. And it's also on my Facebook page as well. So the recording is on there if anyone wants to check it out. The more that we can come together to speak up for the people that are unable to really speak up for themselves in the same way right now due to various struggles that they're facing. I just, I see so much value in that. And, you know, as a community, I think we really need to come together um, and help make some changes because there's a lot of stuff going on that that's not okay right now. So. With both feet on the ground in this bellwether 